hello, and this is Dalia again, and I have another story in the 365 Bedtime Stories. I'm going to read this one called Listen With Your Heart for March 28th. It was a crisp, clear day, and Pocahontas had just finished visiting, had just finished visiting with her grandmother, Willow. Now she was climbing to the top of a high mountain with her friends, Miko the raccoon, and Flit the hummingbird. Soon the friends came to a fork in the path. Which direction should we take? Miko asked Pocahontas. The raccoon pointed to the wider, flatter path, which made Pocahontas laugh. Let's try this one, she said, pointing to the narrower, steeper route. They climbed and climbed, and the path grew narrower and steeper. Steeper. As Pocahontas sat down on a large tree stump to catch her breath, the wind suddenly picked up. Then the clouds moved in, and rain poured down on them. Uh-oh, said Pocahontas, jumping to her feet. We can't stay here, and it's too slippery to climb back down. We need to keep moving. Pocahontas paused. Where should they go? I need to listen. Pocahontas said to herself, I must listen with my heart to the spirits all around us, and they will keep us safe. Pocahontas tried to listen, but it was hard to hear anything over the pouring rain and rushing winds. Suddenly she heard them. The spirits spoke to her. They told her to climb a little higher, just a bit, and there she would find shelter. Come on, Miko. Come on, Flit, she called over the wind and rain. We'll find shelter just a little way up. Sure enough, the friends found an opening in the rocks just a bit higher up the path. Between the rocks was a small cave, and inside it was warm and dry. The storm soon passed, and the sun came out. Come on, Pocahontas, cried cried to Miko and Flit. Let's go see what it looks like at the top. They hurried the rest of the way up the trail until they came out on a wide, flat ledge. Far below, they could see the forest, and beyond it, the sparkling blue sea. You see, Miko, see Flit, said Pocahontas. We're seeing the world in a different way. Isn't it beautiful? And just think, she said more to herself than to the other two. If I hadn't chosen the that unexplored path, I would never have heard the spirits talk to me. Aw, that was cute. I hope you enjoyed this little story, and I will be reading more. Take care.